Hi, Jonathan Perkins here at Joe Bolte. We're from the Effingham PFR site for Bex Hybrids. I'm the PFR agronomist here at this location, the location lead as well. Joe Bolte is our herbicide specialist and our PFR operator here. So we're out here today in some of the fields. As you can see, the plot's back behind us. And we're going to talk to you about a newer study that we're doing this year. It's actually a starter fertilizer system study and utilizing a new product from Precision Planning, doing some beta testing with what they call Conceal. So the Conceal system is a starter system and basically it's similar to the uh, Yetter with the dual 2968s and the Martin uh, dual UMOs and it's starting the 2x2x2 by two by two fertilizer placement system. So what we see back behind us here, we actually have a knife here instead of uh, you know some of those systems that have coulters or utilize that area, we're looking at a knife assembly here. So basically when we look at the front of the row unit, you can see why they call it conceal. It's actually hidden away behind the row cleaners and goes back here we have a spring assembly that holds that pressure and gets the depth for us that we want and then you can see the knife that actually places the fertilizer there uh, down below into the trench beside the seed trench so looking at that we also see a special gauge wheel that's required for this system so you know as that knife moves or as that knife sits there that gauge wheel has to spin and allow that to move in between it. so also right here is a scraper assembly and this is on here here if we get into some adverse conditions where it may be a little bit tacky obviously we don't want to target those conditions but it is there to help us out in case some mud gets built up to make sure we're getting accurate placement here with the concealed system now we had talked about last year and done some video shoots with those two by two by two systems uh, we've seen some videos or shared some videos on what the results showed from that but this year we're testing this new conceal system out and as part of the study as well we have another aspect of it here that Joe's going to talk to you about now yeah, so here we have the furrow jets. These are also made by precision planting. And when we think of starters, we got to look at our salt content, right? If we get too much salt, we can get injury. So what this system does is it allows a couple different things. It allows us to place the starter on the side of the seed as well on top. It also gives us the option to place two products in the, in the furrow as well. Well, why is this important? Well, some of our starters, they're not compatible. So this gives us the option to be able to put two different products that can't be tank mixed and put them in furrow. You know, we test these last year, but this year, you know, we're testing them with the conceal system as well. So we're just trying a couple different things. We're trying different rates. We're trying um, the furrow just as well. Just trying to find that sweet spot of when it comes to our starter program, what are some different options that we can do to really strive for optimal? Absolutely. So in this particular study, what we're looking at is the treatments is a control that has basically no starter up front and then 190 units that comes in later as a side dress of V3. Then we have the uh, conceal by itself with 60 units done up front and 130 followed back in side dress of V3. Then we look at a five gallon, as Joe mentioned before, we have a capability to split with that, with the furrow jet, but in this case, we're using the same product through all three, uh, through the wings and the center, in this case, and splitting that five gallon rate of a 624.6 pure grade diamond uh, fertilizer. So then we have a combination of those two treatments. And what we're gonna share with you next is actually some of the observations that we've made here, and uh, talk to you a little bit about what we're seeing here this season in this study. All right, so like we mentioned, we had some visual observations and also some other observations as well that we took around the V6 grow stage. Now, back behind us here in the crop currently, we stand at about a V11, V12 time frame. You can still see a little bit of height difference. This is two different hybrids here, but back behind us, you can see the other hybrid as well, showcasing a little bit of height variation and a little bit of color differences that we can still see comparing the control to the 60 units two by two by two. So uh, looking at some of that, you know, we saw the visual differences back then but Joe what do we see as far as some measurements that we took and maybe describe those results a little bit yeah so at that v6 time frame you know we came out we did plant height we did root mass and we did stalk diameter what was interesting was we seen our largest of these measurements when it came to when we're using both systems when we're putting 60 units down to conceal when we're running five gallon 626 with the furrow jets that's where we've seen our largest our largest stock diameter and our, our the greatest plant height. So it's kind of interesting when we get both the systems working together, we did see some 
visual differences compared to when they're just used alone. And measurement differences. So something else, preferential root growth was one thing we saw last year by looking at some of these systems. However, this year, uh, I think it's because we're using knives, you know, that are on both sides. Uh, I think some of that is because of that knife slit that we're seeing preferential root growth go to both sides and not just on the, you know, one single side if we replace it that way. So. Uh, but tying this all together, what we've seen, you know, in the past is a little bit of yield bump out of these systems. So again, we're continuing to compare some of these newer 2x2x2 two by two by two placement systems and see what they show, not only in terms of what we're seeing from observational in that standpoint, but ultimately tying it to yield on the end and finding out if it really does make a difference on profit or not. So again, reporting from the fields of Effingham here, Jonathan Perkins, Joe Bolte. Uh, stay tuned with us as we move on and go into hard later this fall and see what that data shows but in the meantime uh, don't forget to comment or like and subscribe below uh, and use those comments on the hashtag AskPFR to ask those questions to us so that we can get back to you on it.